Bonjour, guten Tag, what's up, bro? Guys, what a beautiful day where there is no time to waste. Match day, guys. Match day. All the focus to my match, and I'm so looking forward to it as I'm going to try to help out the team with winning games and scoring my goals. And that's how it is. And thank God someone is going to come to record my game. And yes, man, I'm so looking forward to it. I had my porridge in the morning. I prepared my pasta for before the match that I'm going to eat later in the train because I'm going to have a long, long travel. But all the things doesn't matter. It's just winning games and goals. So hopefully now you're going to see my highlights. Enjoy it. So this is the match. And unfortunately, it's not the best quality. And the person who recorded the match was not standing at the perfect angle but at least something better than nothing so i'm the only target man up front they try to hold the ball and then there are two against me and they win the ball and here i try to close the defender down and i do quite good force him to the other side and then there they lose the ball so in general this game they are i think in the table i think first or second so they were a really good side so we had at the beginning um quite struggles but then we came better and better into the match so and then here yeah i play it back i do quite good so in general in this match my hold up play was better but of course there's always room for improvements there i try to bring it down but as the defender's very close to me so i try to flick it but no one runs after that ball and then here i try to bring it down and yeah two against one because otherwise i would have shoot and then here compose play it back and always after those actions i always need to get yeah, there i shoot the ball I shield the ball, I hold up, I hold up, and then two against me, and then I come through, but they foul me, so it's a free kick. So in general, me as uh, the only target man up front, sometimes it's very hard, so I need to get used to it that defenders are so physical, try to push me, sometimes the ref doesn't see it. For example, here I flick it good, and then, yeah. Our player doesn't come to the ball and then here defender holds me holds me I try to bring it down it's a free kick and this time like not every ball I try to flick it because I bring down the ball and there I was very close to score very very close good delivery And then here, bam, and then I try to, yeah, body faint, one-on-one -on -one versus defender, and he clears it. Yeah, flick it to the man, yeah, they clear it again. So in general, so my hold-up play and little bits of, like, things just improve there, I bring it down, and then I try to bring it outside. Normally, I don't know why the winger is so narrow, normally it should be much more outside. And then here, second half, cross, and I nearly scored again. But exactly at this scene where I received my dead leg, it was like pretty at the beginning of the second half and it was really, really hurtful. Because the defender just goes out with his knee and hits my leg and I don't even know how I was able to play, to continue to play. But... I think it shouldn't be too too bad and then the physio came but everything was fine because I was able to to continue to play and 
and then free kick a flick it yeah they played out wide and then a cross and then oh that was also very very close i had it just very close to the goal free kick i win it and corner with a deflection on it and this corner yeah unfortunately not a good cross but then yeah, i was expecting it and then uh, a volley if it would come a bit because it came a bit like a bit outside otherwise it would have been a goal yeah they are flick it so guys as you see me in the air like literally no one can beat me in the air and unfortunately in our game or in our team um like we don't we don't get too many crosses into the box because otherwise i think i would have scored many many goals but yeah that's that's what we need to we need to improve to get more and more crosses into the box because me as a six foot six guy if i get let's say 10 crosses into the box man i'm gonna score at least three goals every match Yeah, as you see, the quality of the footage is not the best, so this is a pity, but like I said, better something than nothing. So that was the game, <clears throat> and now I'm back home, and my leg i can't even walk this is crazy but i think this is not that bad as it's just a dead leg so i think now it's just that i need to ice proper and put my Voltorol cream but that's it i think i'm going to be able to play on tuesday as tuesday we're going to have another important match but you guys need to imagine in our league like proper first team those games always are so physical always especially for me up front as the only target man as the only man up front there i need to try to hold that ball and sometimes it's good sometimes i can hold the ball sometimes not but then i get support from my other teammates but man sometimes it's it's hard but that's just the way that's i, I need to get used to it so simple as that i need to get used to it and i know they are things that are improved and I think from next week I'm going to start something different to all the things that I've done but you're going to see what's going to happen because I want to change something I want to change something as I saw in documentary about the secrets of top athletes because it's not about how often I train it's about what I train and I need to definitely improve on my agility or my speed and I want to focus more on that instead of just ball drills and everything like I need to change something and I'm going to do that what happened it happened and next game Tuesday so just two days to recover and hopefully I, I can recover because this dead leg really hurts and I don't even know how I could continue to play this is crazy, but I didn't want to let my team down. That's so simple as that, and I want to score a goal. That's what my mindset is every time, to score goals. But it didn't work out, but next time we go again. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button, guys. And keep in mind, when you believe, everything is possible so team brand now mm, i see you tomorrow